everybody, my name is Faith Bradley and I'm currently a rising sophomore here at HPU. As we exit the middle of our summer and transition into a mindset that can get us prepared for the upcoming school year, I wanted to give a reminder to keep distance from temptations. Although coming to HPU has brought me a group of people who I am so grateful to be able to call my home away from home, at the end of the day, we all travel back to our home states no matter how near or far they are to the community that we spent this past year to build. At school, I had a community of people who were able to hold me accountable and encourage me to stray away from things of this world and conscientiously seek God's kingdom. But as I ventured away from school, I've come to a realization that spiritual people do not make me a spiritual person. So let me say that again. Surrounding myself with spiritual people does not make me a spiritual person. My walk with Christ is one that I have to choose to make daily. And one thing that always occurs when growing a relationship with him is temptation. So with that in mind, I would like to focus on 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. As I've been home, it has been very tempting to fall into periods of decline in spiritual practices such as prayer and scripture reading. And when these things occur, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 reminds me that I'm not being exposed to anything that I can't handle. In the moment, when it feels like you're all by yourself, it's important to remember that you're not alone. God is with you through and through and won't leave your side. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 cannot say it better. He is a faithful God. And he will be with us when we have our highest highs and our lowest lows. And that takes me to the next point. Colossians 3.1 says to set your hearts on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Now, I am a person who loves a good list of what I should and should not be doing. So farther into Colossians 3, God gives us guidance of what we should stray away from. Colossians 3.8 says, but now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Right now, I am an autism paraprofessional, which is essentially like a special education teacher assistant. And I'm also in a summer musical. All of that combined means that there are a lot of moving parts in my day-to-day -day schedule. And oftentimes, unpredictability is inevitable. <laughs> So when things do not go to plan, it's very easy to want to be angry at what caused the issue and not forgive the ones who caused them to go awry. However, we are called to rid these tendencies from our habits and lean towards responses of compassion, kindness, and patience. And as we lean into these practices, we finally see how God's invitations and commands protect us from things of this world. Philippians 4, 7, which says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This tells us the reply we get from God by following his directions. Will be provided joy and peace and have a layer of protection that is needed in navigating a world currently in turmoil. So as Proverbs 4, 14 through 15 warns us, to not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers, avoid it, do not travel on it, turn from it, and go on your way. As I close this out, I want to remind you that God is faithful and is with you through it all, even when it feels like no one else is. Please con consistently pursue God's kingdom and continue being Christ's ambassadors for the one who paid the ultimate price. Hopefully, what I've said today can help you be a just as encouraged as I was as we start to prepare for this new school year. I cannot wait to be reunited with you all and hear all the wonderful things you have to share about this summer.